Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 18, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, um, my predictions for, for the weekly chart, the, basically the, the crossing of the MACD here and the signal line in the in the weekly chart basically proved to be uh, very accurate. That is the same thing that has been happening uh, if we were go way, way, way back. If we go all the way back to roughly this is uh, 2000 and um, this is 2018, where we have a crossing here of the 12 minute the MACD and the signal line, and we basically fell apart. We can also go to the next time we have crossing here this was basically in 2019 when we had this rally also crossing and it technically just fell apart below the 200 moving average and i would not be surprised if we saw something similar there has been not the same hype about the cryptocurrency market the last few weeks uh, or last week i would say that uh, due to the fact that People are afraid that this is uh, is uh, causing a lot of pollution uh, because it loses, uses a lot of electricity in order to mine and so on. And Elon Musk doesn't really help by tweeting constantly in this market. It creates uncertainty. And if it's something that markets don't like, it basically is uncertainty. The more uncertainty, the more volatility. And it's also very likely that people will start to, start to sell uh, their cryptos. So uh, panicking, if people start panicking, then we can see this absolutely tumble to the downside. But this is the weekly chart, and we are actually trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average for a really long time. We have to go all the way back to March last year in order to see this trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average in the weekly chart. So we did test it also today, got rejected really heavily. So looking at this, it looks like we are going to go towards the bottom of the bullish band at least and that is far away from where we are at this point so that's all the way down at 30 uh, 13 uh, 30 000. if you look at fibonacci retracement for this uh, weekly we can see that we are testing the 38.2 at the moment did cross it if that breaks then we go down to the 50 down at uh, 36 uh, k okay. and then we have the 61.8 down here roughly at 30k so this should probably be the bottom of this market we'll also have the 50 moving average moving this way if this of course breaks then we are looking at a drop to the 200 moving average and probably even lower than that so we're talking about eight at twelve thousand, and that would not be uh, that would not be surprising uh, back in 2017 bitcoin lost half of its value in one week so we were up at uh, at uh, 64. That means that 32k uh, in one week. That's basically what we were looking at in one week back in 2017. So, so things can happen really rapidly when this market goes wrong. So it is fairly volatile. If you look at uh, the daily chart, we can see that we are approaching the 200 moving average, and we will. We'll, see a pullback probably tomorrow or on tuesday or on wednesday mainly due to the fact that we are getting significantly oversold uh, we are approaching major uh, one of the major resistance the support areas so this is um, the 200 moving average and we may well bounce from here bounce significantly up to 50k again and probably also to the all-time highs if this for example breaks then we are looking at uh, 30 probably 20 and even lower than that so there are a few things here. First of all, is the 200 moving average, which usually is major uh, support. And then it's also the previous highs over here. So that was also, it will also come into play. Technical indicators for the uh, daily, they are very negative. MACD is bearish, you know, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. But we are oversold at this point and significantly overstretched. So a pullback should be expected. Um, um, in the next few uh, trading days. So let's look at Etro. 
So this has also been hammered. And uh, interesting with this is that we are trading way below the 20 exponential moving average. So we did approach where probably we'll find massive uh, support, and that's around 3,000. So we look at Fibonacci retracement, we can see that the 50 Fibonacci retracement is right at 3K. If 3K breaks, then we have 61.8 down here, so together with the 50 moving average and the bottom of the Bollinger Band. I would be really surprised if we go through this. If we were to, then watch out below, because the 200 moving average will be in, in uh, will be the next target. And that's all the way down at 1500. But market is is uh, reacting to uh, mostly to uh, to um, Elon Musk's tweets, and um, as long as that keeps up, there just will be more uncertainty. People will um, cash in their profits, and will basically institutions will probably start shorting this. So let's look at uh, Cardano. So uh, this was a very nasty looking candlestick and the same goes for the candlestick today. But we are very far away from major support levels. So down here at uh, 1.68 is going to be the first test. Then we have uh, 1.60 and then the 50 moving average down here 1.38. So technically getters, they are not as bearish as they are for, for Bitcoin and Ethereum. The MACD is bullish, the Castig is bearish, the CCI is bullish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So I don't really see this rallying in the next few days, but we may see this pull back towards the support before rallying to the upside. So let's look at Litecoin. That was wrong. So Litecoin has also taken a beating and it looks very similar to what we saw over here. So I thought that this was going to absolutely collapse when this occurred, uh, all the way down to the 200 moving average, but that never happened. Uh, so I'm not going to say the same thing as I did in that video. Uh, 50 moving average has been a major support for this cryptocurrency. So we are at the 50 at the moment. We have tested it, broken through it, and pulled back and are trading above the 50 moving average at this current stage. However, technical indicators are very, very bearish, but they also were very bearish here, and it completely turned around in only a matter of few days and had this enormous rally, uh, roughly a rally of 100% in only, give or take, three weeks. So, so, uh, so, um, until we basically break below the 50 moving average, start trending underneath and the 50 uh, offers resistant and are heading towards the 50, uh, 200 moving average, this is still an uptrend. So we have seen these moves over and over again and uh, 50 moving average has been massive support, which, are, which we are testing at this point. So let's look at NEO. So NEO as well uh, has broken its previous uh, support at the 20 exponential. It is testing the 50 moving average now and it's uh, basically crossed the 50 and rallied above the 50. So we're trading just above the 50 at the moment at 84. So technical indicators are very bearish indeed. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. And if we break the 50 and get a red candlestick, full red candlestick underneath the 50, that could mean that we will drop towards $50 uh, and probably the 200 moving average at the $39. So just keep in mind, we have tested the 50 moving average before and made this massive rally here uh, from the 50. Uh, but if the 50 breaks, then we could drop it significantly further. So let's look at Dash. So Dash is down roughly 12%, 11% at this current stage. We were from the highs of 468 to the lows here at 279 in only roughly two and a half weeks. That is a massive fall for this cryptocurrency. We're trading underneath the 50 moving average, but we did the same thing over here. If this stabilizes here, then it could go higher, break below here, then we could open the door to 200 and probably the uh, 200 moving average at 180. 
Technical indicators are looking dreadful, so uh, it's all about whether or not we manage to stabilize here. If we do, then we could go and go and test uh, the previous highs again and also beyond that. So let's look at Dogecoin. Yes, so Dogecoin is finding support where it has found support in the past. So that is at the 20 exponential moving average and the 20 simple moving average in the middle of the bullish bound. So we have tested the 20 and we are trading just above the simple moving average right now. So 0 0.48 is holding and the technical indicators are looking dreadful for this cryptocurrency. But as long as we don't drop below the 20 exponential and stabilize here, then we may see another run similar to this. A break below here opens the door to the 50 down at 0 0.29. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.